Ladies and gentlemen, let's read Gaming Citicom video. We're hearing some rumors and reports that AMD are indeed stopping, halting their development on their Mantle API and will instead shift their focus on DirectX 12 and Vulkan. Now, obviously, this is not 100% being confirmed at the moment. That It's mostly rumors, but it seems to be fairly accurate um, but I have reached out to AMD to see if I can get some comments on this issue but anyway let's let's give a bit bit of background story so Manta was actually introduced back in 2013 so it's been around a couple of years and it was actually the first low-level API really at least in the modern age technically there have been glide and a few other kind of low-level APIs but they were so simple compared to today's APIs they don't really count I guess Anyway, the technology has, I suppose you could say, inspired DirectX 12 and also been utilised as the backbone of Vulkan. In fact, the Kronos group have actually said this quite substantial uh, documentation which have actually gone into what they're changing for Vulkan, uh, uh, for Vulkan compared to Mantle. For example, they're removing a lot of the GCN-specific extensions because it would give uh, GCN, which obviously is AMD's... Uh, technology, it would give their GPUs a significant advantage compared to NVIDIA, which would be counterproductive to the point of Vulkan. Anyway, so there are titles which of course are released which do support Mantle, and these include Thief, Battlefield 4, Hardline, Dragon Age, Inquisition, and there are still some upcoming titles. Um, these include Star Citizen, and we're also hearing that Star Wars Battlefront will also support it. And that's where it gets a bit weird, because, as I said, it's not like, you know, even though they're halting development, it's not like they're just saying, well, okay, our drivers are completely and utterly removing any and all traces. If you're trying to run the game in mantle mode it's just gonna crash or something ridiculous no they're basically saying that at this point they aren't gonna actually work on it anymore and by which i mean that they're not gonna put any more time to developing the api at least from what i'm hearing so what this basically means is they're not gonna try to improve the performance they're not gonna try and work on say new extensions or let's say a new iteration of GCN comes out in a couple of years time they're not gonna you know they're not gonna write specific parts of Mantle to suddenly massively improve performance now why is this well I'm only speculating but they have already said that they are gonna be focused a lot on DirectX 12 and Matt and Vulkan now in one of the slides for Vulkan which was of course released at GDC 2015 um, it actually says in one of the opening lines, actually, based on Mantle, standardizes and replaces it. And this was a GDC. So at the time when I was actually doing some analysis on this, by the way, this is also an article I've done this. I have talked about all this stuff in the article anyway. But if you prefer to actually have a written version, you can check it out. Anyway, in the actual analysis we did of Vulcan, I didn't actually really think too much of this line. I I kind of thought, well, you're still going to have Mantle specifics, but it just, in real world terms, I kind of agree with AMD doing this, and I'll tell you why. At the moment, you've got DirectX 11 and OpenGL, kind of. But with um, Vulcan, Things are going to be really different because Vulkan works across a lot of different devices. Yes, of course, it's desktop and laptops and all that jazz, but it's also going to be, let's say, phones or, you know, oh, I don't know, Linux. Because obviously Linux, one of the reasons that Valve are supporting it is because of Linux. So for potential developers, that means that they're going to have to worry about programming for the X12. And they're also going to have to potentially program for Vulkan. Now, obviously, they could just say, eh, eh, not going to do that, not going to focus on Vulkan. And let's even assume, just for the moment, that that's true. And they say, nope, not going to be focused on Vulkan um, programming. 
all we're worried about is man is is DirectX 12. Well, the performance the performance difference between DirectX 12 and Mantle is going to be not too big. Even if you say it's like five ten percent for a studio to actually say, you know what, we're going to put in all of this time, all of these resources to go ahead and and try to improve performance by five ten percent on just let's say half the market it's actually less than half but let's even go ahead and say half most studios are not going to do that it's just not going to happen especially considering DirectX 12 is going to be kind of a learning curve in and of itself it's not like you know everything's completely different it's not like they can't transfer some of the knowledge over and technically you can go ahead and just do different amounts of DirectX 12 if that made any sense in other words you don't have to utilize all the bust and even just using say multi-threaded shadows as we've discussed previously can be massive improvements in rendering times in other words it takes a lot less time to render the scene but overall to really leverage DirectX 12 which most studios are going to want to do especially for specific you know high end graphics work in other words for the versions of the games which are going to look the best it makes a lot of sense to just say you know what um mantle is a really cool idea and it's going to live on technically is the heart of Man as vulcan it, it really will and i think that AMD actually kind of proved their point with this one. Some people are going to say, you know, it failed and, you know, it was a bit of a failed experiment. But to me, it it wasn't and didn't fail. If anything, it was actually largely responsible for the creation of both Falcon and DirectX 12. And I'm not saying for one minute that, you know, Microsoft or... Uh, any of the Kronos group and I say any of the Kronos group because if you actually look at the consortium of people who are behind it It's kind of mind-boggling But even if just talk about Microsoft, it's not like they didn't have the intellectual ability to do it But here's the thing with Mantle technically with how it's kind of merged with Falcon and with how Valve are obviously really interested in this and trying to push steam even John Carmack said back in the day, a couple of, uh, couple of, uh, actually I'm not sure, I think it might have been last year or maybe even just after it was released. When was the quote? Hang on, I've got to open another tab. It was in 2013, yeah, so it was just after Vulcan, oh uh, sorry, Mantle was announced. So yeah, basically John even said, hey, it's probable that Microsoft and Sony aren't too thrilled about the existence of Mantle. Because it's actually going to give Valve and the Steam boxes a bit of a a bit of a leg up in terms of performance. Now, obviously, we are doing a lot of theory here, but I think it's fair to say that Mantle has served its purpose. I'm not saying that I wouldn't like them to continue it, but it's going to be kind of expensive and in terms of development time, and you know they could they could put that time to something else potentially. Like, for example, virtual reality technology. Uh, that's going to require some pretty pretty in-depth stuff, uh, virtual reality. And we all know, of course, that they are working on their own version of uh, virtual reality um, known as Liquid VR. Well, it's not their own version of virtual reality. That's actually complete rubbish. It's, it's a middleware. Basically, it's an SDK, which will work uh, with the GCN architecture to reduce latency. That's much more accurate. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.